Welcome back. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to add or change lyrics for the songs that you are composing in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open. And the song that we will be working with today is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I started with the first couple notes and so that we could begin the uh, lyrics right away. So to begin uh, putting lyrics into your piece, you will want to make sure that you don't have anything selected. Um, sometimes you have the note selector on like that. If it's uh, highlighted, that means it's on. So that's not going to work because that's going to put a note in there. Otherwise, uh, you can click it again and that will turn it off. So now uh, I just uh, in selector, selector mode. So basically, I just will click on the first note that turns it blue. And so once that turns blue, I will go up to add at the top of the page and then down to text. And then near the bottom of text is lyrics. So add text lyrics. OK, and you can see once I did that, it uh, put a, a, a cursor there so that I can begin typing in the lyrics. So uh, with that there, I can start adding the lyrics. So the first one's twinkle. Now, the first um, word is actually split up into two. So uh, when it's split into two, you want to hyphenate the word. So I've put in the first part of the word twin. Now I'm going to finish the word. Now to get to the next note, I'm going to press hyphen and it's going to hyphenate the word for me. So hyphen and you can see as I, as soon as I pressed hyphen, it went to the next uh, uh, note. So now I need to finish that word twinkle. OK, so now the next note is going to have a brand new word. So I'm going to press space. And now it took me to the next quarter note. So twinkle. Now I got to do the hyphen again. Twinkle. Lit. Tool. Star. OK, and there's a comma there. OK, so that is uh, basically how you can get started with putting lyrics in right away. I'd like to finish this piece to show you a couple more things. So I'm going to write the, the last couple notes in there. So I'm going to press the quarter note. Actually, let me do that again. I'm going to make sure I have this measure selected. So note selection, and I'm going to press uh, the quarter note there. So now I can put in the notes. So and if you uh, and at any point you uh, need to go back, just hit Control Z. So I need to hit Control Z to go back a step. Oops, boy, all of those were not correct. <laughs> OK, there we go. OK, so now we've got those notes in there. And uh, so it, let's say I want to get back to putting in lyrics. Instead of going up to add, the, you can use the shortcut, which uh, again, you will select the note that you want to do, uh, the first word on. And Control L will now add the lyrics there. Okay, so how space I one hyphen der what you are. Okay, uh, again, so that is uh, the the main way that you can put in lyrics. I wanted to include one more uh, point about putting in lyrics. Let's say you have a really long note. This this happens every once in a while. So I've got a really long note and I want to add lyrics to it. Again, I'll click on the note. I'll hit Control L or you can go up to add text lyrics. OK, so I've got that selected with the, the lyrics. Now, let's say you want to put several words on that one note. OK, so the, the, the note stays the same, but you want several words on that note. Basically, what you will do is you'll put your first word there and then you are going to hit. So go ahead and hold control space. And now I can put another word. And then control space I can put another word so you can write as many words as you need with control space, because if I hit space regular, it's going to skip to the next note. Um, so that's how you can put multiple words under one note. 
I also wanted to point out how to change the lyrics once you edit them as well as delete lyrics. So let's say uh, you wanted to change this lyric here, the word what. So basically you would just make sure you are in selector mode here um, and then just double click and then that will highlight it and you can just change the word right there. So you can change to whatever word you would like. So that can ch that'll change the word pretty quickly. If you'd like to delete, just go ahead and highlight it. And once it turns blue, just hit the delete button and then uh, that lyric will be deleted. So uh, that's uh, the main way that you can uh, change or delete any of the lyrics that you have uh, put in your piece. You now know how to add, change, and delete lyrics within the music scores you are working on in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. I have other videos uh, on MuseScore 3. I will put the links uh, on this video. You might be interested in watching some of those. Uh, this lesson is part of my full course on MuseScore 3 so that you can master the software. Uh, the link is in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.